at Barangay Ginebra. Grabe, dahil ang Barangay Ginebra is looking for their 13th championship. Masungkit kaya nila. Last two minutes. Last two minutes natin. Oh. At it's sa atin ang Cobra plus vitamin C. Lakas ang prediksyon. Cobra, the number one energy drink. L.A. Tenorio feeding Chapit for the jam. Here comes the Tiniente once again. Lakas mo na yan at it's sa atin ang Cobra plus vitamin C. Lakas at proteksyon. Cobra, the number one energy drink. Tenorio against Eram. L.A. Bounces oh. inside to JDV. L.A. again. The veteran Devance looking for his 11th PBA championship. And Ciso for a three. Stop. No. De Leon with the board. Puede pa. Nine seconds remaining. They got a steal as yes, well. 82-78. Rosario's got to miss it. And that'll do it. Barangay Inebra wins championship number 13 in the PBA. Coach Tim Cohn, championship number 23. And he becomes Barangay Inebra's all-time winningest coach with his fifth championship. Barangay Ginebra, for the first time in 13 years, are kings of the Philippine Cup. So the PBA bubble comes to a close with an 82-78 victory by Barangay Ginebra. It's a gentleman's sweep for the Philippine Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the awarding ceremony of the 2020 PBA Philippine Cup. It has been a conference unlike any other in the PBA's 45-year history. It took a lot of hard work and planning from the organizers and the many partners. It took sacrifice from everyone who entered the PBA bubble. The teams had to be apart from their families, had to work double time to get back into shape, and to survive a grueling schedule to entertain the PBA's millions of fans. It's now, and now it's time to crown the winner. But before that, we have to give our proper respects to the team that pushed them to their limits. Right now, let us welcome our hardworking PBA commissioner, Willie Marshall, to award our runners-up. They finished third at the end of the elimination round. Actually, galing tayo sa bubble. Nakita natin yan. We played in that bubble. We knew how difficult it was even to preserve your players. And so... Again, another warm TNT. round of applause for the TNT. Itong nangyari sa Rock TNT, actually, it's a good performance considering what has happened to them uh, in terms of uh, the people they lost. Two, injury, two injuries. Hanggang dito nga sa last game. And now we have come to the moment that the NFC faithful have long been waiting for. They finished first in the elimination round, defeated Rainer Shine in the quarterfinals and Meralco in the semifinals. And now for the first time since 2007, they are the Philippine Cup champions, Barangay Ginebra, San Miguel. Winning a championship in their very first conference in the PBA. Number three, Ken Salado. And number 70, Jeric Balanza. Number 23, Raymond Aguilar. Number 18, Arthur De La Cruz. Number 10, Arvin Tolentino. Number 47, Mark the Spark Agiwa. Number 16, Jeff Chan. Number 2, the Daredevil, Jared Dellinger. Number 31, Aljon Mariano. Number 12, Prince Caperal. Number 38, Jody Vance. Number 6, Scotty Thompson. Number 11, Stanley Pringle. Number 25, Javid Aguilar and winning his first ever Philippine Cup trophy, number five, L.A. Tenorio. Barangay Ginebra assistant coaches are Richard Del Rosario, Olsen Rasela, Freddy Abuda, and Kirk Collier. And the head coach picking up his fifth Philippine Cup trophy, the winningest coach in PBA history, coach Tim Cohn! Al Francis Chua, their Board of Governors, is uh, very proud at this point, of and course, including Boss Ramon Ang. From the head coach of Barangay Ginebra, Coach Tim Cohn. Congratulations to the organization.
from Boss Ramon Ang to Alchua and of course to Coach Tim Kun. Mga ano na, dalawang daan na yata ang title nito si Coach <laughs> Tim Kun. Eh. I want to just say, first of all, to all of our fans who are out there watching right now, this one's for you, all the Endeavor fans out there watching us. It's, we talk about you guys all the time, and I'm just so proud we're able to bring this to you. You know, when this thing all started, when L.A. was coming from the hospital, and L.A. Uh, Scott and Japheth wasn't here yet, and we lost Greg Slaughter, um, and, you know, we really didn't have a lot of expectations for ourselves. You know, we were just thinking, can we make it to the playoffs? And uh, uh, great, just credit to all these guys behind me to just kept working and working and working. And they found a way to win. I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of them. But I, I, I really want to take this time to thank um, the PBA, the, the Board of Governors, um, uh, the Commissioner, uh, our Board of Governors, Al Francis Chua, Mr. Ong, for allowing us to be here in this bubble, uh, for working this thing all together, and all the people, the press, the scorers, the, the Quest uh, Hotel, um, being a, a brilliant uh, host for us. Uh, it couldn't have worked out better for us, obviously. And uh, the, the fact that they worked so hard to get this thing together, and they brought it together, um, was just, it's an amazing, amazing feat. And uh, I just can't thank them enough for allowing us to play the game that we love and still entertain our, our special uh, fans that we have. Uh, it's, it's been tremendous. And my hat's off again to the commissioner and to the Board of Governors of the PBA for allowing us to, to, to be in this situation. And uh, uh, it's, it's amazing. But again, really, this goes all to the fans, to Inebra, and to you guys. You guys were unbelievable. And I want to just make a mention, I get all the credit, but my staff back there, you can't imagine what they did. I get all the credit for all the adjustments. Tell you guys, I'm not doing any of them. It's those guys who are making the adjustments. And they deserve so much more credit than they're getting. So I just want to thank my staff for all the work and our training staff. Uh, for keeping us healthy all the way through. Um, you know, that was such a chore. Coaching here in the bubble was a, there was a lot of uh, out of the box thinking um, that we had to, to do to try to keep our guys ready and healthy and, and keep moving forward. And a big part of that was our training staff. And where are you guys? Where's our training staff? There, raise your hands. Raise your hands. Come on, ask me, raise your hands. There we go. All right. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you to the PBA for allowing us to have this place here. Um, it was an awesome experience, uh, especially topping it off with the first All-Filipino crown for much of us, first one for me at Enebra, and the first one since, what, 2007? Again, this one's for you, Enebra fans, this one's for you. Thank you very much. And now, let us call back PBA Commissioner Willie Marshall to award the Philippine Cup Trophy to your champions, Barangay Hinebra San Miguel! Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm joined here by the four other members of the PBA Press Corps who covered the PBA Bubble season for the past two months. And we're here to award the uh, PBA Philippine Cup Finals MVP. The average 13.6 points, 6.2 assists, 2.8 rebounds, and 1.4 steals per game. The Honda PBA Press Score Finals MVP, LA Tenorio! <laughs> sa Panginoon, pero binigyan pa ako ng bonus. <laughs> pero thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, thank you sa kay Lord for giving uh, the whole team the strength. Uh, and uh, sobrang pinagdaanan namin dito sa 
sa Bacol. Uh, so all you know, bago ako nakapasok dito, tsaka si Japet, marami kami pinagdaanan talaga. So, but again, una-una, uh, gusto ko magpasalamat. Uh, <laughs> gusto ko magpasalamat sa mga teammates ko, uh, sa lahat talaga. Uh, Group, uh, sinuportahan talaga nila ako in time na kailangan ko maghabol. Our training staff, our PTs, uh, our coaching staff, and especially kay coach team, uh, talagang uh, binigyan niya ako ng chance ulit to, to, to play kahit meron akong uh, karamdaman. And, uh, marami akong pasasalamatan. Uh, gusto ko magpasalamat din sa, uh, sa lahat ng uh, PBA staff, mga crew, and sa TV5 crew, sa, sa lahat ng mga press, for hindi magiging posible ito, kundi dahil sa inyo, sa sakripisyo nyo din. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Uh, kay Com Willie Marshall, thank you, thank you Com, for uh, nung sinisimulan palang planuhin to grabe talagang pinaglaban kami ni Com, kami mga players para matuloy itong uh, bubble na to Maraming maraming salamat. Sa Quest Hotel, uh, thank you for your patience, and uh, sa accommodation, kahit sobrang makukulit kami mga players, matitigas ang ulo, maraming salamat. So, and uh, thank you sa, sa family ko. Uh, yes, nagsakripisyo kami mga players dito, pero grabe rin ang sakripisyo nyo sa, dyan sa, sa bahay dahil wala kami. So, maraming salamat to my wife, to my uh, boys, kay Santi, Sian, kay Lucas, and of course to my baby girl. Uh, finally, nabigyan ko rin siya ng championship. So, miss na miss ko na kayo. And, um, kay Tito Arvin, kay Tita Zelda, thank you. Thank you so much. And, uh, finally, siyempre sa, sa pinakamamahal naming boss, kay Boss Al Francis Chua, maraming maraming salamat sa sa suporta uh, kahit minsan nagagalit ka sa amin pero nagbigay sa amin ng uh, fire uh, every game sa amin of course kay Boss RSA kay Ramon Ang kay Boss Ramon Ang maraming maraming salamat po uh, sa suporta na binigay niyo po sa amin mga players uh, mga PBA teams uh, sa uh, all, kahit kahit itong pandemic uh, nandiyan kayo para suportahan kami Boss RSA maraming maraming salamat Eh, sa lahat ng Barangay Hinebra fans, uh, para sa inyo po ito, uh, sayang hindi nyo po na witness live, pero alam ko po na dyan po kayo nanonood on behalf of the Barangay Hinebra San Miguel team, para sa inyo po itong All Filipino Championship na to. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. And uh, advance Merry Christmas and Happy New Year po sa inyong lahat. Scotty, muna muna sa lahat. Congratulations. What an amazing conference it has been for your team. Alam naman natin, you guys finished the elimination round as the top seed. At ngayon, kayo pa ang mag-uwi ng kampiyonato. Paano mo i-describe ang naging journey nyo dito sa loob ng ating PBA bubble the past two months? Ah, uh, yun niya. So, sobrang worth it. Saka sobrang talagang ano, hard work pay off sa amin. Kasi uh, talagang pinaghirapan namin to uh, every single day, every practice, every hour talagang uh, binibigay namin na todo. Uh, yung sarili namin talagang uh, before start ng bubble talagang naka-mindset kami na uh, sana uh, hanggang dulo ng bubble kami uuwi. So uh, thankful kami syempre sa mga fans, sa mga sumusuporta sa amin uh, na kahit, kahit wala sila dito sa venue, alam namin talagang patuloy sila sumusuporta sa amin. So yun, uh, sobrang besa yung nagpapasalamat kami kay God. Alam naman natin na naging very sentimental itong conference na ito para sa iyo, Scotty, especially kasi yung mga anong minamahal mong lola in the middle of her bubble experience. So kung makakausap mo siya ngayon, ano bang mensahe mo sa lola mo? Uh, Unang-una, syempre, uh, yun nga, uh, yung pangako ko sa kanya na uh, i-offer ko sa kanya yung championship. So, sobrang thankful, sobrang thankful kay God kasi uh, binigyan niya ako ng chance na talagang mabigay ko sa lola to, sa lola ko to. So, uh, siguro talaga di, uh, hindi, inaantay ko talaga itong moment na to kasi para after nito mak makauwi ako sa amin, mabisita ko siya so uh, lola kung saan ka naman kung saan ka man ngayon uh, para sa iyo talaga to and patuloy mo akong supportahan Maraming salamat Scotty, congratulations thank you, thank I'll you. turn you over now to the news Now joined by none other than Stan the man, Pringle Stan, it has been mentioned over and over again the challenges that players had to go through being inside the bubble.
talk me through or share with us what those conversations were like when you had to push through it. Uh, just, um, you know, everybody, all the teams in that one hotel, uh, we were, yeah, a little bit, a lot of challenges. Everybody was fighting for space and everything, but honestly, you know, I'll trade that any day for everybody to be, you know, be safe and, uh, you know, COVID free. So uh, we're just all blessed to, to get a chance to come together and have a, a successful conference and uh, just happy for that. Thanks, Lord. Everybody's safe. Anybody you want to thank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my uh, Andres Chua Chan family. What's up? Uh, cousin Carlo, special shout out. I know you hit me up earlier. Uh, my mama, my sister Leia, my brother Jason. Back to back, baby. We did it. It's two in a row. Let's get it. All right. Congratulations Thank once you, again. To hear from the Spark, let's send it over to Selena. Yes, I'm currently joined now by Mark. Congratulations, Mark. We all know that you guys are winning a title for the second straight time and you're ending about the 13, 14 year all Filipino title drought. What does it mean to be able to clinch all of these victories inside the bubble, especially after all you guys have been through these past 60 plus days? Um, you know, yung mga, mga tao na no sa, sa bahay, uh, napakahirap. I mean, uh, you know, same routine every single day. You know, ball, you know, ball is life. Wow, there you guys have it. <laughs> well, clearly, Mark, all of your teammates are rejoicing with you, but you were saying. Uh, well, yeah, it's been it's been hard, and uh, you know, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Boss RSA, Coach Al, and uh, you know my teammates and the coaches. You know, hirap talaga and Chevrolet. Itong championship para sa inyo to. Mga nanonood sa bahay, this all Filipino. Like she said, we haven't won it 13, 14 years, and uh, you know, th this is for you guys at home. Mark, you've always been a player that all of your teammates look up to as a leader and as a veteran. So what is your message for all of them and how proud are you of them after clinching this championship? Oh man, I'm, I'm so proud with uh, with everyone. Uh, with, you know, uh, just, it's been so hard. Lalo na tong all Filipino. It's just been amazing and uh, I, thank, I thank everyone over here. All right, thank you so much again, Mark, and congratulations. Well done, I'll turn you over now thank to you. Denise. She can't I am get now wet. joined, of course, by Joe DeVance. Joe, you were just talking about this. This is your 11th title. What does it mean to you to be able to do it given everything that's happened? Um, it feels great. Uh, um, I, I can't believe that we won. Oh, I know they're going to get me. I know they're going to get me. Okay. Um, no, nah, just how we started the conference, um, we didn't, we didn't, we honestly didn't think that we were going to um, make it to the finals. We're just like what Coach Tim said, we're just happy to. Uh, ah! Ah! Okay. Wait, man. Ooh. 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 What is that? Hydrate? Ugh. That was hydrate? Okay, you good? Yeah, yeah I'm good. Oh. Ooh. Okay. okay. What? Okay, just people you want to greet and uh, say thanks. Oh, okay. Um, I want to greet my family, uh, my wife, Monica, my kids, uh, Bella, Jace, Jaden, and Zeke. Love you guys. My mom, my dad, my sister, uh, her kids. Uh, I want a big shout out to uh, my boy, Gary. My YouTube team, Mel, uh, Gico, my boy Bernard, uh, Titans, um, guys, eat that El Nacho Libre. Uh, and uh, I just want to thank all the NSD fans, all the Kyle Bottom guys out there. Love you guys. You guys are the absolute best. Love you. Peace. <laughs> Great job. And congratulations, Joe. Jared, we were talking right before the game, and we were yeah. talking about the last. Uh, Philippine Cup Championship, that, well, back in 2012. Right. How is that compared to what you just achieved right now? Again, like what I asked Joe, yeah. given the situation. Uh, it's it's such a surreal feeling, to be honest, just because we're playing in this gym, there's there's no fans, uh, we're just kind of, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm still trying to process mm -hmm. this uh, as we go along, but um, man, what a journey this was, right? Man, just coming in here not knowing what to expect and blink of an eye now we're camping. What does it mean to you? I know there there aren't any fans here but you yeah. see them supporting you all throughout the way. I'm yeah. sure you're getting a lot of messages as well. Yeah for sure. Uh, you know, our 
Canepra fans, they were still behind our backs and supporting us through social media and online. We were getting thousands of messages of support and, and, and you know, it's, it's a blessing to have that type of support behind you when you got people really encouraging you and it really gives you extra motivation to, to play as hard as you can out here. Well, that's what you did, and that's, what it's that's all why about. you have the crown. That's Great why we job. got a crown. And congratulations. Now I'll send it over to Selena. Ngayon naman kasama ko si Aljon Mariano. Aljon, congratulations. Napakaganda na naging performance mo this conference. Even Coach Tim Cohn spoke so highly of you, saying you played such crucial roles in several of um, the needed wins. So, para sa yo, ano ba ang a journey na to? Ano ba ang halaga at need? Uh, unang una, thank you Lord sa championship na binigay niya sa amin, sa strength na binigay niya. And siguro lang yung preparation talaga, yung pinagandaan talaga kahit nung off-season na medyo uncertain kung babalik yung PBA or what. Siguro yung staying in shape pa rin na nandun, siguro nagbunga lahat yun sa, uh, sa outcome ng conference na to para sa amin. Um, Aljon, kanina sabi mo na gusto mong bumate, may mga gusto kang taong kasalamatan. So, now's your opportunity to do it. Una-una, uh, thank you sa family ko and kay Kay and sa mga pets namin and sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa amin, Barangay Hinebra fans, lahat-lahat. Sobrang salamat sa inyo kahit wala kayo dito, ramdam na ramdam namin kayo every game. Kahit ano, basta nandiyan kayo lagi para sa amin na uh, binubus yung ano, namin, confidence namin. And, Lahat ng ano, batchmates ko, San Beda, UST, teammates ko, lahat-lahat ng ano, kamag-anak ko, uh, ayun, grandma ko, kuya ko, lahat. Ayun, thank you sa inyong lahat. Aljon, alam naman natin na hindi biro ang naging bubble experience na to. You guys had to play through a grueling format at napakadami niyong kinailangan sakripisyo, including time away from family. Para sa'yo, Aljon, what's been the greatest lesson? Uh, ano ba? Siguro yung... Staying healthy, sobrang hirap talaga during dito sa bubble kasi coming from a long layoff and then yung games talagang tuloy-tuloy. So siguro yung staying healthy, yun yung weapon, naging weapon namin kasi all throughout the bubble, medyo okay naman yung ano, health namin. So ayun, nagamit namin yun hanggang dulo. Maraming salamat, Aljon. You're Thank finally you. coming home. Congratulations.